This episode, we focus on some of the interesting behaviours in which elephants forage for food. Elephants make use of their trunks, mouths, tusks and even their feet to assist them as they forage. It is estimated they consume an average of between 100 to 270 kilograms of vegetation every day and spend up to 18 hours a day doing it. The team at Elephant Voices have spent a lot of time studying and researching all of their behaviours, of which eating is obviously an essential and large part of their lives. During the series, we will take a detailed close-up of all their various behaviours used while foraging that the team at Elephant Voices have referenced in their Elephant Ethogram. If you haven't visited their website yet, here is the link now. In this episode, we are focusing on two behaviours, namely pluck leaves and pluck branchlets, which are very similar to one another, so we thought we would include them together in this episode to also assist with viewing the comparisons between the two behaviours. According to the Elephant Voices ethogram, the behaviours pluck leaves and pluck branchlets can be observed in only one context of behaviour, which is called foraging and comfort technique, and that is a context we also covered in episode 4, when we discussed dusting as a behaviour. They describe this context as follows. Methods or techniques employed by elephants to achieve comfort or to feed effectively on particular types of vegetation or species of plant. The behaviour pluck leaves is described as follows. Using the fingers of the trunk tip or the distal portion of the trunk to pluck individual leaves. The second behaviour is pluck branchlets, and elephant voices have referenced it as follows, using the distal portion of the trunk to pluck leaves and small branchlets from trees and shrubs. And shrubs. So, let's go foraging with a few of the Jabalani herd elephants as we browse through some examples of these two behaviours in action. Jabalani showcases the behaviour pluck branchlets beautifully in this clip, as he's seen feeding out in the wild. He uses the distal part, otherwise referred to as the tip of his trunk, to wrap around and pluck branchlets, which he then places into his mouth. Lundi is seen here tucked behind some shrubs as you see her carefully select leaves between the branches which she plucks, as in pluck leaves, to then ingest. Samapani, so one of the older bulls of the herd, uses his trunk here to grasp onto a few branchlets and proceeds to pluck branchlets with a bit of an extra tug to free them, and he continues on to eat them. There's a few. <laughs> this little snippet of rescued albino calf, Kanisa, showcases an example of pluck leaves, where it is just the leaves that her trunk is plucking from the branches. Hello. <laughs> she looks like she's 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 nothing. Nothing. She's looking she's like she's still down the side. Kanisa continues with her leaf eating skills. Gosh, how wonderful it is to see her come so far since she was rescued. But take a look how adept she is at plucking and stripping the branch of those leaves.
Tokwe, the matriarch, is enjoying an afternoon snack as she's seen here plucking branchlets from the shrub. We see here little Tamisa, a rescued calf, and she is seen from a bit further back, but you can, through the bushes, see her taking it easy while she enjoys plucking leaves from the tree. This is a great clip of Elephant Bull Samapani as he showcases both behaviours. First, you see him gently plucking individual leaves, being a little bit more selective. Elephants' herbivorous diets consist of a lot and lot of leaves, bark, fruit, flowers, twigs and shrubs. As they are the largest terrestrial animals on the planet, they need to eat an awful lot of vegetation to sustain the size of their large bodies. As you can see here, Samapani then returns his trunk to then start to gather and select branches to then pluck the branchlets, which requires a bit more strength from the impressive distal portion of his trunk to free the branches from the tree or the shrub. But obviously, that's rather easy for an elephant. Klasiri mm, is a young adult cow that is seen here taking some time on her own to enjoy foraging from a low-lying shrub. You can see Klasiri using the tip or distal part of her trunk to pluck branchlets and then continue to eat them. We are sure by now you are getting the hang of it and able to identify the difference between the two behaviours quite easily. Kinesa is seen in this clip gently plucking leaves in this delightful close-up as she is foraging. Kumbura is a young adult cow that was rescued in 2009. Watch as she carefully selects and wraps the distal part of her trunk around a chosen branchlet as she showcases the behaviour called pluck branchlet. She then continues to guide the branch into her mouth to enjoy. We love little moments like this. This is the matriarch of the Jabalani herd, Tokwe, with little Kanisa. They are spending some quality time together, browsing in the wild. Their trunks come together as they search out for leaves or branchlets on a low-lying bush. Kanisa seems to try follow and copy Tokwe's behavior, which is how calves continue to learn. Tokwe decides on a few small twigs 
and plucks her chosen branchlets before guiding them into her mouth. And we have Samapani here, using the strength of the tip of his trunk, or the distal part, as we know the word is now, to wrap around the branch he is selected to eat, and has a little tug of war with it first, before freeing the branch from the tree, and then inserting the branchlet into his mouth. And we have another little clip from Samapani, who once again is plucking branchlets, which he then continues to insert into his mouth to eat. Our final example of this episode features Satombi, one of the older cows of the herd. Now we are going to see if you can spot anything different in this video clip, something that Satombi does while she is plucking branchlets. If you can spot it, then you will pick up on another type of behaviour that elephants use to forage successfully. But we won't let you in on it just yet, but keep your eye out for a future episode where we delve into another important foraging behaviour for elephants. And that's a wrap for this episode. If you are still watching at the end of this video, well, we would like to share a heartfelt thank you for supporting us by watching our YouTube videos. We really, truly hope you're enjoying the series and we always welcome your feedback. Cheerio for now.